But today is the day to load the pigs up in the trailer and get ready to go to the processor. They've got a processing date tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, today's the day. Well, technically tomorrow's the day. But today is the day to load the pigs up in the trailer and get ready to go to the processor. They've got a processing date tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. And uh, it's been quite the journey with these guys. These, these are the first pigs that I've raised since I was in high school. I used to raise, or well, I used to show pigs in high school. We didn't breed them and raise them, but we'd get a couple piglets every year and raise them for show. And that's been a long time. And it's been an interesting journey. So we got these pigs at six weeks of age in early April. And if you'll remember, they, oh, don't bite my finger. They were as wild as they could be. And they still don't like to be touched too much. But some, from the first week of April, and this is filmed on October 19th. So May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months old. I believe they're going to be pushing 300 pounds. I could be wrong. I don't know if the processor tomorrow will be able to get a live weight on them. What is it, Harry? Huh? What is it? I don't know if the processor will be able to get a live weight or not or uh, after it will be a hanging weight. We'll see, I'm not sure. I've never used this processor, but a lot of friends have taken hogs and they say this is the best hog processor around. Um, a, a lot of people probably wonder why we don't do it ourselves, but it's just easier, really. Take it to somebody that knows what they're doing, that's a reputable place, and I don't have a problem, I trust them. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting process getting these guys loaded up. And it's been quite the journey raising these three pigs. So stick with me. We're going to see if we can get them in the trailer. I pulled their water and feed out of the pen, uh, let's see, early this morning. So they haven't had any water or feed in quite a while. Maybe not early this morning, early this afternoon after lunch. So I'm hoping that I can shake a bucket of corn, get them in that alleyway. The hardest part, I feel like, is going to be trying to get these guys... To step up in the trailer but I think if I get some feed in there get some corn in there they're hungry enough right now they'll probably want to go to it hey today's great pig adventure is sponsored by Brunt Workwear now Brunt is a company that I had never heard of until recently and they hit me up and asked if I would do, if I would want to test out and review a pair of their work boots. Well I'd never heard of them so I went to the website and looked at it 
and seem like pretty good stuff. You guys know I live on a farm. I hunt, I fish, and I farm. That's what I do. And work boots are super important for that. I like to have something with good ankle support that keeps my foot dry. I hate getting out in the woods. One of the worst things in the world is getting out in the woods, going hunting, and ended up with wet feet. Or going down here to the barn and watering the animals and ended up with wet socks. So I've been wearing, I'm gonna pull this off and show it to you in a minute, but I've been wearing this pair of Brunt work boots now for a couple weeks and I've been wearing them hunting. I wore them on both hunting trips with the kids and they were, they worked perfect. Now when I first got this pair of boots, they were pretty stiff, but the one thing about these that I really like is they have an adjustable insole. So you, they come with a insole that has different inserts for different widths and I've got a pretty long narrow foot with a real tall arch and these fit my foot really well and after about two or three days of wearing them they got broken extremely well they're very comfortable and i really like them so i've only had them for a couple weeks i'm going to test them out for a while and see how they do but so far they've been very waterproof very comfortable they're slip resistant they don't have the most aggressive sole, so i'm not always tracking mud in the house because that's one thing my wife hates but this is called the marin and I like it, but I may end up in getting another pair because it's like a cool stylish looking boot that I could wear for casual wear out in public, but I couldn't do that. I had to test it out in the woods and the water and the farm and the goat manure and the cow manure and all that stuff. So, so far so good. I really like them. They're really comfortable, kind of stylish looking, waterproof as I said. So check out the link in the description box. You can save $15 on your first pair of Brunt work boots and they have free shipping and a free 30 day trial. So wear them for 30 days. If you don't like them, send them back and it doesn't cost you a dime. So be sure to check the link in the description box. Now let's get back onto this great pig adventure. Come on, pigs. Come on, Harry. Hey, pig. hey you goofy pig, come this way. Come on, Harry. Get some corn. Hey! First thing you do, spill it. Acting like a pig. Come on, pigs. Come on. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. One in. We got one pig in. Let's go, piggies. Yeah, piggies. Pigs are in. Not too much stress. Not too much worry. I'm gonna give them a little water and just a little bit of corn. You all thirsty? Here. You want some water? I'll let you out of there just a minute. Let you get a drink over here. Alright guys, 
And y'all have a good night in the trailer, all right? Well, it's getting dark and I'm losing light quickly, but that went about as perfect as you could ask for. And the main reason I wanted to do this tonight is basically just to avoid as much stress on myself and these three pigs as possible because you just never know what's going to happen especially with pigs they're just really big very strong stubborn animals and as much as i've enjoyed having them here the last thing i wanted to do is get out here early in the morning before we have to be at the processor at a certain time and stress these animals out or one get out and we have to chase it down and cause all kinds of problems because i mean Here's just the truth of the matter. If you come out here and stress these animals out on their processing date and start chasing them around and causing all kinds of ruckus, it could taint the flavor of the meat. Now, I really believe that. I've heard that my whole life, but I believe it to be true. So with all that said, we are packed and ready to go to the processor in the morning. And I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit sad. You know, these pigs are close to 300 pounds they lived a very good life here on our farm they've been fed very well and they're going to go to a good purpose and feeding our family so we're not going to eat three pigs with just my family we're going to split this between three households it's going to some of it's going to go to my in-laws to my mother and father-in-law and some's going to go over to dusty and marissa over at cross timbers bison my my wife's brother and his wife so i raised them all for the family and we're going to split them three ways and fill everyone's freezers in the family and uh, it's just kind of is what it is it'll go good with all that fresh venison my kids just put in the freezer so all right we'll see you guys in the morning morning piggies you ready for a ride mm -hmm. Patty Patty wants out of here. Bulgarian bacon just chilling back there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Are you excited? I'm, it's a big I'm, day. I'm a little chilly. You get some of us. When it's cold, we put on a hoodie. I've got one in my hand. Oh. I thought you were waiting on me. This is a big day. Are you excited? Are you sad? Are you happy? I'm always both on this day. Always both. Yes. Tired of the smell, but sad for the animal. Yes, but looking forward to what's in our freezer. Pork chops. Sausage. Bacon. Sausage. <laughs>
Well, we just made it back home from the processor. That, that actually took a lot longer than expected. And it was an interesting process. So I've used a different processor that I've, than I've ever used before. I've never taken any animals to this place. And it's different because the processing facility is in town and they don't have any holding pins, which is totally different than most processing facilities that I've ever used in the past. So when you take an animal or multiple animals in, they have to dispatch them in the trailer and then pull them out one at a time. And he only had so much room. So we're there for a couple hours because we had to take each one and skin them, get them in the cooler, then dispatch the next one. And that is totally different than any other situation I've ever had on animal processing where I took them somewhere. Because most of the time they have a holding facility. You drop them off, weigh them. Tell them what cuts of meat you want, how you want the animal processed, then you leave. So, a little bit different, but I truly believe, I told my wife this on the way home, I think everyone who ever eats any kind of meat or uses any kind of leather or animal product of any kind should have to do that at least once in their lifetime. Because it makes you respect that animal's life. And you think about in our world today, how much, how much meat much animal products get totally wasted because people have a disconnect from where their food comes from. They don't see that part. People want to pretend that part doesn't happen. But I'm here to tell you, if, if you eat any kind of meat, that happened somewhere. Someone had to take that animal's life and process it. And uh, it's, it's not easy. And a lot of people uh, have issues with us as farmers and hunters in taking an animal's life and and a lot of people voice their opinion on our channel in the comments and stuff about how they don't understand how we could go out and harvest a deer and end that animal's life and bring it back and consume it but they don't mind going to the grocery store and buying hamburger meat it's just a complicated process i get it it's not easy and i will say it does pull at your heartstrings because those three pigs were here well, they were actually down there for the most part, but they were here on our property for six months. You get attached to those animals. They're not pets. They're here for a purpose. They're here for a reason, but they have a life and we try to give them the best life possible, just like we will with Whopper over there who we're feeding out, who will go into our freezer next year probably. And yeah, it is what it is. So. That's the story of our pigs. This was not a video to tell you guys, to give you guys a breakdown of how much it costs to raise a pig to process, how much feed goes into one. It's not a meat haul video. This is just the bare bones, gut wrenching side of, if you're gonna eat meat, an animal has to die. So anyways, so be sure and check the link in the description box. Huge thank you to Brunt Workwear for sponsoring today's video. And uh, go check those guys out, see if they have anything that you like. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.